Let's take a look and see if we can spot our trams. They should be coming out of the depot. Here they come. Oh, these look fantastic. Oh, I'm absolutely loving these already. Well, thank you for joining me again. Hopefully you enjoyed episode one and you've dived straight over here to episode two. As you can see, I'm making lots of effort to make it edited, short, sharp, to the point, and to build our city. Let's deal with some of these needs that we have over here at the moment. That probably doesn't need to overlap as much. We'll go that way. So... Last time we had, we built a coal power plant, water availability is looking okay, electricity not too bad, we could up that a bit, there we go, we are doing a little bit of min-maxing, I don't want to do too much of that, but to try and keep our money going well, so we've got the coal power plant, we put down a snow dump, now I want to work on expanding, we need some more, we need some more people over here, so... I would like eventually one of these roads running along here. This road will eventually head across here and join up to these other islands. We do Let's have a quick look at our map. Yeah, we've got. A, I mean, we've got a big land mass here, but we have some nice other islands that we can that we can go and have a look at. We don't have the options to buy these yet. I don't think we get that option until oh, we're about to hit the next option, but I don't think we need to buy anything else just yet. So. We'll be fine. But let's add a few more roads in and expand our residential area. I think we'll make this one here a through road. Let's have a look. So I'm trying to make sure I keep keep my roads working well. That's the idea. So we don't have too many roads going in and out that are the wrong size and all that sort of thing. That's the idea. Let's add, I don't want to also use up as much space as possible. Make it, there we go, make it work really well. So, like you can see, we've got the bigger six lane roads up and down here. Um, these will be upgraded at some point to uh, motorway roads when we can. Same as these ones up here. Um, and then splitting off and then we go to smaller roads the further away we get. So that is, that's the idea. Um, you're going to have problems with the, the sound coming off the motorway there aren't you so what I'm gonna do is add one here maybe another small one here and also we're trying to sort of help people not to have to travel too far oh well they're right by the motorway anyway for things that they need so like we've got here we've got our commercial which is you know, not too far away. We could also add commercial on our main through roads like this one here. So people can get to those easily. So that is probably what I'll do now. Let's add all of those in. There we go. All the way along here. Ideally, I would have had the same along here as well. But that's sort of branched off into another little area, hasn't it? So we're fine with that. And let's use this one. And we're going to do... There we go. Get all of that working. Let's make sure everybody has enough water. We don't have access to these yet. Um, our heating pipes. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet. I don't know. We shall see when we get there. Let's make sure all of these are covered. All of those are covered. Yep. There we go. So hopefully we'll get some more people moving in. Let's just speed the game up a touch. Keep our eye on our water and electricity. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're still making money as well. Excellent. And people are moving in. Good, good. So the dump is working okay. We do have options to add. Oh, there we go. We've reached a worthy village. Fantastic. Now we have districts, policies. We can get more loans, unique build buildings, fire, police. Specialization is something I want to take a look at. So let's just jump out of this. And take a look at our specialization menu to see what we have around here. So we've got fertile land, so we can nicely branch out into a farming area over here, which will be good. The area we've chosen for our people to live is a pretty much standard, standard looking area, so that's fine. So I'm happy with that. Um, and then over here we've got plenty of room for industry. Before we get down to this industry... So that'll be interesting. How's our traffic going? Traffic's perfectly fine, which is good. But I think our people deserve to have a few additional upgrades here, which we don't have yet. So let's add in... What's this going to cost me? 10,000. Wow. And I think that's probably a good idea to have this on the main road along here somewhere. 
So he can have access over here as well. Perhaps we will go... Let's have a look. What sort of road is this? Yeah, it's one they can cross straight across. That's fine. Yeah, let's pop that in there. That will cheer people up. And then, of course, fire. I'm thinking we're going to put that over by the industry side. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go there with that one. There we go. Yep, that's cheered everybody up. And then, of course, they're going to want police as well. That's not normally too much of a worry straight away. So, not too worried about that. We'll leave that one. Education will be good. What have we got here? We need 10,000 for that. We're almost there. We're almost there. And we're reaching the nice, nice size population as well. Let's have a look. Our road maintenance... Oh, he needs electricity. Okay, that's fine. We can help you with that. What we could actually do... If some more commercial people moved in there, we'd be fine. What I will probably do is just run one of these along here. There we go. Just to make sure that works. Excellent. He's happy. Oh, there we go. We have the first place for our fire engines to come and deal with. An ice cream factory has gone up in smoke. There we go. They've saved it. Fantastic. That's good. So the idea that I'm having for my city is that we are going to branch out. We're going to sort of follow this pattern. What's the matter with you? Abandoned. Why were you abandoned? Not enough workers. Well, that's fine. We fix that now. We have more workers here. Is to follow this sort of pattern to build up our city as we go along. Um, and then as we get more money, and money isn't as much of a problem, we can have our school in here. That is going to go smack bang in the middle of one of our main arterial roads. Let's have it not so near the junction. There we go. So that's going to be in the middle of this area as it expands. As we get more money, we'll then start looking more in detail at how we can make our city look beautiful. On top of how it already looks beautiful. Yeah, we do have some crime. Uh, we need £10,000 for that. Okay, maybe we'll wait for that. Running out of water. Ah, oh, tiny town. We are growing. We get decorations. Level 2 unique buildings. All sorts of things we can look at. And a high school. So there is lots going on. Let's just look at our water. Yeah, let's up that. This needs to be up to bid as well. Just to help with how many people we have going out to our city. Snow plows, 5 of 5. 2 of 15. On the garbage trucks. Okay, well we'll see how that goes. Oh, we've got some more money as well. It gives us like a little boost of money, doesn't it, every time. So we can definitely add our police station in. Let's add that in here. Should we go somewhere in the middle? Yeah, let's go here on the main road. So we can easily get around to all of these. Right. I'm going to spend some money and I'm going to expand this area here and this area here too. So you can see how it's a problem. When the temperature drops, electricity really becomes an issue. Look, the temperature's minus 21. Now it's warming up a bit. Electricity use is going down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Ever so slightly, it's dropping. Yeah, so that's something we really need to take care of. But we need to wait until we've got... I think it's this one here. Reach a population of 2,000. Then we get our interchanges. We've got all these interchanges. Timbo's stuff I've added. Water pipe with heating pipes and trams as well. And some unique buildings, do we? Uh, yes. Oh, there's snowboards, sleighs, igloos. Wow. Lots of things to be adding to the game. So, yeah, hopefully it's not going to be too long and we reach 2,000 because, yeah, dealing with all the people having brownouts when it gets so cold... And there's not really much I can do with it. I mean, I can sort of up this up like that. How does that increase? 
because you, you lose more money by the fact that sometimes workers aren't able to work and that sort of thing. So it's it's better just to have... Let's get the, these will be offices eventually, so I need to actually look into changing these away from being... Yeah, let's, um, let's undo these, because I want these to be offices, not commercial. I want to keep all my commercial, there we go, over here, where the people can go to shop. Oh my goodness, how's it looking? Still looking bad. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Can I up this, can I up this enough to make enough electricity for when it's really cold? I really can't. <laughs> and then that stops and then the sewage. This is the thing that stops first because it's so far away. Yeah, it just, oh it's working again, okay. Yeah, not too bad. It's it's cooling down again. Or warming up, I mean. Warming up. Yeah, there we go. These new water pipes over here. Let's let's add some of these in. Keep these guys happy. So we're balancing okay. We're not doing too bad at the moment. But reaching 2,000 would really help. Definitely. Do we need more space? We do. We need more... So isn't this... Oh, here we go. Look, we can set this for these. Excellent. Let's do that. Let's do that. So I'm enjoying these new additions that are making the game a little bit harder. Let's just add a road in there. Now, we are going to have this main road coming out here soon. So some of these things might end up getting changed. But for now, there we go. Let's get all of these. Excellent. Yeah, running out of water again. What are we on here for this? Let's just set that to nearly 100%. Yeah, there we go. Boomtown 2000. Hooray. Everybody throws their hands in the air. Now we can get bus, trams, taxis. All sorts of things. Extra insulation. No. Ooh. Let's have a look at some of these. Let's just slow the game down. Pause for a second and take a look at some of our districts. So we can now have different districts. So let's add a nice big district here. For our residential area. Let's just cover this whole thing. There we go. Sunny Side Heights. What a great name. Default style. Yeah, we'll leave that as it is. Policies. Let's have a look at some of these new policies we've got. Extra insulation. Buildings require less energy for heating. Thanks to the extra insulation over their walls and roofs that produce less tax income. Okay. No electricity for heat. The buildings are forbidden to use electricity for heating. They can only use heat produced by heating services. We don't have those yet. Okay, only electricity for heat. All right, I'm going to go for extra insulation. And we'll see how much the tax is affected by that. Um, we'll leave that on the extra that we've got at the moment. We'll see how that goes. We, of course, are able to change the policies for a whole city to do that if we wanted to. Um, I don't think we want to do any of those just yet. So let's see how that's affecting our tax. I mean, we've still got our electricity way up there. I don't know whether they're going to particularly... Yeah, see, look, we're still... We're still not producing enough electricity. Um, so we are going to have to add in... I mean, what could we go for? We could just have another coal plant. For 19,000, that's going to give us another 40 megawatts. And just, I think that might be the way to go. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just bang this problem on the head. We can then drop these down, I reckon, back to near 100% again. Yep, yeah, near enough. Let's see, how's that doing? See, even that is not quite enough electricity when they're freezing cold. And we don't have enough money to add these in yet. We could do water pipes. Look, they seem to connect. Ah, if you want to provide your citizens with heating, build a service building producing heat. Connect it with upgraded water pipes to the buildings you want to receive heat. So I'm wondering whether this isn't something you're going to do all the time for everything. Because it's going to cost you so much money, it would be ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, maybe we'll see how that goes when we have enough money to get there. So let's add in another one of these, because these are quite cheap, and this one's lasted us nicely so far. If we do two, 
add a pipe to there, water availability is back through the roof again, this can probably go right down, I think, save us some money, good, not that much, ooh, got to be careful, do you know what, I might just leave it nearly at 100 and just forget about it, okay, that's good, so now we've also got unlocked the option for trams. We need a lot of money for a tram depot. We need 40,000 simoleons, <laughs> whatever they're called. 40,000 pounds, dollars. Um, and then we get all these different roads. Two-lane road with tram tracks. Two-lane one-way road with tram tracks. This is the big one. Four-lane road with tram tracks. I'd like to upgrade these down the middle. Tram tracks, one-way tram track. To help people get from here to here would be fantastic. Let's see. I mean, unfortunately, these are six-lane roads. So it would sort of be a downgrade, but with the addition of the trams, I'm thinking if we could upgrade these all the way along. Yeah, look, they'll all upgrade, and this will all upgrade. That is going to cost us a lot of money. Let's do it from here. Let's see how far we can get. There we go. If we have a tram all the way along to here. And then... Is that going to turn around again? Or how's that going to work? I don't think that's going to just turn around and come back. We're going to have to do those two. Hmm, interesting. Supports medium traffic. So the roads are still okay. Yep, that's okay for getting backwards and forwards. It's got like this little symbol saying... What's that telling me? I think that's telling me that the trams... have got nowhere to go. Or oh, that's just a, not a connection there. We'll have to see how that goes. Let's see if we can add... 40,000. We will be there at any moment. The tram depot sends out trams to the lines automatically when it is connected to a tram line. Trams return to the depot after finishing their shift. Okay, so pretty much like bus station. I'm going to add one along here somewhere and then we're going to run a line backwards and forwards and see whether that just works as you would expect it to work. Hopefully so. Hopefully it does It does what it says on the tin. We shall see. Oh, someone's got no water over here. That is not good. Little teeny tiny house on the edge of nowhere with no water. You are also going to have problems there. There we go. Good, we need more, we need more expansion, don't we? Let me expand again some of our roads. Okay, well, let's plop it down there and have a look what we're actually getting here. Oh, I see. The tram tracks are coming out of there. And they've attached to the road that way. Okay, can I turn this one round and attach it onto here? Let's try that again. I wanted to do it just to attach to the end here. Oh, is that... oh there we go, there we go. Yes, it will do. Fantastic. So we don't need these tram lines up here. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we can have that just going back to a normal road, can't we? Let's... There we go. Back to a normal road. Excellent. So our tram line is attached to there. We've still got this at the end here. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. Let's see. Okay, it seems that the trams need to be able to turn around as well. They don't automatically loop around at the end of the track still cannot find path aha solved it so you need a turning spot at either end so i've upgraded these little roads here into sort of a square shape that goes round we can see they all line up nicely so let's add a tram in let's see how this helps or hinders our traffic okay we're driving on the right hand side we're going to create a stop there uh, where should we add stops? I think... I don't want to overdo it with the stops. I want to bring everybody to one point to get the trams. Maybe. Let's add a stop there. Because that is the road that crosses over. Where everybody's coming in and out. We don't have any other junctions yet. I may add another connecting road. Do you know what? I think it would be a good idea. If we did actually have another connecting road here. So let's... 
Let's use this tool. Let's connect that to there. That is one wiggly road. Okay, that's fine. Let's connect that to there. And we're going to have another stop there. Right, let's continue this one along. So we have a stop there. We're going to have a stop here. And then we're going to loop it back round again. Let's have a stop on the other side of the road, I think, for both. And then straight up here. And we're going to complete the line. If we had a stop there and then go round. Yeah, there we go. So we've got stops on both sides of the road. Let's take a look and see if we can spot our trams. They should be coming out of the depot. Here they come. Oh, these look fantastic. Oh, I'm absolutely loving these already. So there's already a stop there. And then what we can do is we can hook up our buses to these as well. So we get people get the buses to the tram route. Yeah, this needs to go underneath. That is not the best, <laughs> not the best setup for here. Oh, that is brilliant. So people would take the buses to where the tram stops are. That is going to be the idea from these sections up here. Run them backwards and forwards. There we go. We can see the little stop. Oh, that looks fantastic. There we go. You've got to wait for the traffic as well. It's a shame there's not a six-lane road that has the trams. But we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the way we're laying out our traffic works well enough that it's it shouldn't cause too much of an issue. There we go, stopped at the next tram. Oh, these trams, they're looking fantastic, look at them. I think they're really, really cool. I like those a lot, hopefully they'll get used a lot by my sims, particularly when we start adding bus routes and things around here as well to help them to get about. But that should be working really well. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the trams. Do you like them as a new addition? What do you think I could change to make my tram layout better? I think that could work quite well, the way we've got it now. Bringing people to and fro from the uh, industry area. That's definitely going to help with the traffic. But check out the comments. See if you agree with what other people have written as well. Don't forget, today is City Skyline Snowfall Day on my channel. This is episode two. There is going to be another episode out probably within half an hour, an hour, something like that. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.